What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. And man, shout out to everyone that was able to be a part of the SmackDown live stream reaction. Tonight was fantastic. The show was exciting. So many things happened. Shout out to Dub being able to find a way to join us on the live stream reaction. He's out of town right now. Um, you know, trying to make sure his future track star you know mariah his daughter uh be you know be the best track star possible shout out to mariah man uh she's going to nationals for track and she just started a few months ago going to nationals she's top uh, i believe one of her, her team is like top eight in the nation so it's, it, that's a beautiful moment and dub definitely had to be there for his family for his daughter for that so for him to take time to join us on the live stream that was awesome and amazing. Shout out to you, Dub. Shout out to Mariah. Shout out to the whole family. Yeah, y'all, you guys are great and amazing. And we root for you, Mariah. Make it. You know what I'm saying? You are the future Olympian. <laughs> future track star Olympian. But enough of that. We got to talk about just this show, man. Madison Square Garden, you guys were lit. It was a show, sold out show. You guys showed up for sure. Exciting show. Um, they started off with the bloodline storyline continuing from money in the bank the 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 meeting the tribal council meeting and i was not expecting them to start off the show like this but they did they gave us about a 30 minute almost 40 minute segment of this epic saga they've been doing with the bloodline all right so let's get into the meat and potatoes of what happened on the show man so the usos come out obviously crowd was loving them shout out to madison square garden you guys were amazing tonight showed out sold out arena over i believe over fifteen thousand. when the usos came out <clears throat> crowd was loving it they were just loving you know what the usos were you know what they had to say or whatever and it, it was a, it was it was you know pretty much them just reliving what happened at money in the bank and letting people know hey we did the impossible j pin roman reigns for the one two three you know and the crowd was loving them man it was it was a good little vibe then paul Heyman and solo come out now paul Heyman's talking solo's walking with him you don't see roman yet they come out and paul is you know doing his normal stuff solo standing next to him and they pretty much uh the usos just tell paul hey shut up we, we ain't trying to hear what you say paul say there ain't nobody that can tell me to shut up unless it's Roman Reigns. And then Solo takes, covers his mic and takes the mic from him. And the people start chanting Solo. And I like what they've been doing with Solo as of late. Been planting seeds of him maybe wanting to truly be the next tribal chief and maybe potentially turn it on Roman. Paul, didn't, Paul Heyman didn't know what was going on. Solo gets the microphone, and he pretty much throws it out the ring. Roman Reigns music hit. He comes out there. They cut some commercial break. Roman gets in the ring or whatnot, and he, he's 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 confused. He's wondering why have you guys requested this meeting? Only the tribal chief should be able to request this type of meeting. What the hell is going on here? You may have beat me. Yeah, you beat me. You beat me, but guess what? I am still the champion. I am still your tribal chief. So what, what's going on here? And I like what the Usos did here because they wanted to prove a point. It was like, let us let me show you what you've really been doing. And they pulled a Paul Heyman. If you guys remember when Paul Heyman had to exhibit A, B, and C for uh, Sami Zayn and trying to expose him, they did the same thing for Roman, and they show nothing but Roman's disrespect to Jay, disrespect to Jimmy over these past few years, how he's just been all about making sure they fall in line. He doesn't really, he like the, the package didn't show him in a good light, like he actually cares about the family, like he's actually a tribal chief there to lead, more so to control. And Roman sold this so good. They cut back to Roman after the promo package, Crowds chanting, you effed up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out once again, Master Square Garden. You guys were amazing tonight. Crowd chanting, you effed up. Come back to Roman. Roman was like, 
That's not me. What? That's not me. What are you talking about? So good. That's not, no. Y'all forced me to be that way. I do this for you, Jay. I do this for you, Jimmy. I do this for you, Solo. Like, y'all forced me. So good. At this point, Roman has enough gaslighting fluid, fluid, uh, uh, yeah, fluid to fill up MSG tonight because <laughs> he was gaslighting both of them, trying to manipulate them. And, and pretty much Jimmy and Jay, the reason they show that package is like, you can't manipulate us no more. This is who you are. You don't care about us. That's the point they were trying to make. Roman, that's not me. No, I, I, I had to do that because I had to get you guys in line. And then this is when Roman starts putting on some great acting. He's like, you know what? He, he starts to now try to switch it as if, you know what I'm saying, everyone else, Jimmy and Jay, they're the bad guys here. They don't understand. He's like, I, I do all this for 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 our family i you know what i'm saying I, i've been main eventing before the bloodline i don't need the bloodline i don't need none of this i'm good on money he talking about all the kids he got he got like five kids that's what he said or something i, I ain't trying to take care of your kids too like I'm, I'm good you know what i'm done i'm i'm done i don't i don't i don't want this no more and the crowd's chanting nah 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 hey 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 goodbye like he's He's over. He's like, he's giving up the tribal chief moniker. So he walks up to Jay. He's like, that's what you want? He takes off, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called exactly, but, he, you know, the, the thing that symbolizes him being the tribal chief, he takes it off or whatnot. He looks at Jay. He's like, this is what you want? And he puts it on Jay. Crowd goes crazy as if he's the new tribal chief. And then he starts to do something that, we never thought was going to happen. My boy Roman proceeds to kneel as if he's acknowledging his tribal chief. He's like, I'm done. You can deal with it. I don't want this no more. And I'm like, oh, they're setting this up. They're setting this up. Roman is about to hit Jay with the low. You knew it was coming. And he was suckering them in to make them care. That's all he's always ever done. Suckering them in. Roman even pulled out the one single tear. He was in his acting bag. This whole segment, what they did, they were in their bag. And of course, as predictable as Jay went to pat Roman on the shoulder like it's okay, hit him with the Kirkpatrick right, right in the jewels, the low blow, saw it coming. And of course, man, crowd was booing. Jimmy saws it and he proceeds to give Roman the beats. He's giving them the beats or whatnot. And at this point, he's fighting them, stomping them in the corner. And then that's when Solo comes up from behind him. And uh I, I, I want to say he hit him with a I don't think it was a Samoan spike. I think it was a um no, it wasn't Samoan spike. He hit him with a Samoan spike, or whatever. Jimmy falls now. Now, this is where, once again, they start planting some seeds with Solo once again. He picks up the, uh, uh, they're not beads, so I don't want to call them beads or disrespect them, but you guys know what, you know, the 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 piece of, uh, the piece that, you know, symbolizes someone being the tribal chief. I'm not sure exactly what the name is. I'm sure you guys will let me know. But Roman, uh, Solo picks it up and he's looking at it like with intent, like, huh, this would look good on me. And the crowd's chanting, solo, solo, solo. And he's looking at Roman. Roman's looking at him like, give it to me. But he's looking like, hmm, this is, this this could be something. This this could definitely be something or whatnot. And I love that tease. But ultimately, he ends up putting it on Roman. And then that's when Jay gets into the mix or whatnot. Starts attacking Solo. And I believe he ends up getting uh, your Nagi. And then... They go for, they they go rogue. As we expected, Roman was going to sucker him in to try to take him, take him off the map. So what they do, which I, which was very, you know, it made sense that they did it like this. They put Jay in the ropes. Solo has him tied up in the ropes so he can't do anything. His arms are restrained. He can't really do anything. He can't attack nobody. He can't help out Jimmy. Jimmy gets thrown to the outside. 
Roman's still talking to Jay as he's stuck on the ropes. There's nothing he can do. And they proceed to beat the crap out of Jay, man. I mean, Jimmy. Giving him beats, throwing him to the, the steel steps, beating him up, eating Samoan spikes. Roman picks up the brief, uh, not the briefcase, the the uh, uh his championships start pounding him over the head with the championship over and over and over they systematically destroy him you know roman hits him with the steel steps over and over jimmy's getting destroyed jay has to sit there and watch till finally jay's able to get free and he attacks solo and then he attacks roman jay had that dog in him in this, this entire segment loved it but ultimately the number game numbers game was too much and then, you know, of course, Solo gets back into the mix. Hits Jay with a Samoan spike once again. Then they throw him over the table, throw the announcer chairs on top of Jay. They set up Jimmy on the table. Roman's really guiding traffic. End him, finish him. And, uh, yeah, my boy Jay goes to the, uh, Solo goes to the barricade. Jumps off the barricade th onto Jimmy through the table like a, a, a Samoan splash. And boom, Jimmy was KO sent to the gulags. Throw up the X for my boy Jimmy. Or whatnot. It, it was it was over. And at this point, finally, security and official finally come out there after they've been beating the hell out of these guys for like five minutes straight. So security's officials finally break it up. And then you come back to uh after they come back from commercial break, they're selling it. They're selling it. He's on a stretcher. They put him in back in the ambulance. Or whatnot, and that's the end of that segment at the beginning of the show. Great 30, almost 40 minutes entertaining. But I had a feeling if they're gonna start the show off like that, they're not gonna end it on another segment. It only makes sense for them to end it, end it with some bloodline shenanigans. So during uh, I want to say it was Grayson Waller's and Edge match, which is actually a pretty good match. Um, Grayson Waller's debut match on the main roster Definitely good, enjoyed that um, They announced during the match That Jay is on his way back And he's he, he, he's going to confront them Which I loved, loved it Cut to uh, them after the Edge and Grayson Waller match You cut to Roman and Solo in the back with Paul Heyman Paul Heyman letting them know Jay's on his way back Roman said, that's fine, he can meet me in the ring So we go this is the last segment of the show. Come back from commercial break. Roman, we don't even need the intro. So his intro, he's in the ring pretty much like, finally, you know, I, I'm, you know, I was trying to just get this done earlier, but hey, Madison Square Garden, acknowledge me, whatever. Uso's music hit. They're looking for him. He doesn't come down from the entrance way. He comes through the crowd. Come through the crowd. Ain't much talking or whatnot. Solo gets out the ring and he attacks Solo. Jumps through the barricade, through the crowd. Starts giving him the beats, whatever. Then he picks up a steel chair. Wish he would have came down there with a steel chair. Picks up a steel chair. Goes inside the ring. Ducks the attack from Roman. Hits him with the steel chair. And he was about to send him to the upper room with that second steel chair. He was holding it for a long time. But Solo was able to stop it and break, break it up. Roman was able to roll out the ring. Or whatnot, and that's when, oh, beautiful sight, beautiful sight. That's when Jay starts to beat the Evan living piss out of out of uh, Solo. He ends up kicking him, then picks up that chair and starts wearing him out. I'm talking about he was beating the crap out of his brother, like beating him down over and over, over. Chair shot after chair shot after chair shot after chair shot. It was beautiful. Love to see it. He picks up a microphone and he picks up the championship as we expected them to build towards it. He picks up Roman Reigns' championship. He's like, you've gone too far now. You took my brother away. You injured, you hurt my brother. You've gone too far now. We in, we in the tribal court. I'm judge, jury, and ex executioner. And I'm coming for you, Roman. And we don't need nobody else. We don't need my brother in this. We don't need the, my brothers in this. We don't need no no extra stuff. We don't need the wise man. Just me and you. And I'm me and you one on one. And I'm gonna take this title from you and I'm gonna kick your ass. And it was great. 
it was great. Roman seething at the top of the ramp. And we pretty much knew that's the where they're, they're taking the story. But it's it's pretty much almost almost confirmed. We're gonna have us a match at um at uh SummerSlam. The question is, will it be a regular wrestling match? Or will it be something else? Will it will it will it be some type of stipulation? I don't know. But either way, this segment was fantastic. Both segments were fantastic. The show was really good as well. And I am looking forward to seeing what these guys are going to do leading up to SummerSlam. Because the war is not over. We just getting started. I can't wait. And maybe they do add a stipulation to this. Maybe they, someone had mentioned it. Maybe they do bring back Hell in a Cell. Because things definitely got heated with Roman and Jay. If you guys remember a few years back at Hell in a Cell. I want to say it was, it was a situation where Roman pretty much wanted Jay to acknowledge him or whatnot. And it was it was and it was getting good. Even Jimmy was involved in that. He Jimmy was injured still at the time or whatnot. So I don't know, man. It's gonna be interesting. Maybe we do get a hell in a cell match at SummerSlam for the title. I don't know if it's needed. I don't think anyone would trip over it, but we'll see. We'll see. It may just be a regular match, it may be a stipulation match. We'll see. Either way. I'm looking forward to seeing where things go. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys hyped as much as I am to see where they take Jay versus Roman and how the things are going to play up, play out leading up to SummerSlam? Because I ain't going to lie to you. They definitely, even after Money in the Bank and how it ended, they definitely even turned it up that much more on a SmackDown and I am looking forward to seeing what they do and what they have going to uh go forward next but I appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and I'm still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all can you and me see y'all next one peace